Marlins going for their second straight win over the Cardinals in St. Louis. And the Miami fans showing up for this one to support their team. We pick up the game in the third inning. Scoreless Jack Flaherty on the hill facing Derek Dietrich with a man on. Dietrich with a drive out to right field. Bader is back. He's at the wall. And that one is into the bullpen. A home run for Derek Dietrich. <laughs> Stay hot. My goodness gracious. He is scorching hot right now. JT Riddle will bat. He has lined out to left and flied out to center. This ball is drilled out toward right center. That's going to drop in. Home to score is Anderson on a hit to right center by JT Riddle. Third run of the inning and a 6 to 2 Marlins lead. It's early start time, noon, noon central, everybody. Local time. A line drive off the glove of Martinez and into right field. Castro around third. He'll score as Dietrich is out at second base. But it's an RBI nonetheless, and the Marlins are up 7 to 2. 1 1 to Brits. It well to left field, sending Ozuna back in front of the bullpen. Barcells at the wall. Goodbye, Lewis Brinson has hit a home run for Brinson, number eight on the season, and it's 9-2 Marlins. And this is Jed Jerko on the mound for the Cardinals. First time in his career. Here comes a ball drilled out toward left center and fairly deep. It is going to be up, up, and away, and a home run for Lewis Brinson. His second of the game, his third hit, and the Marlins get their 11th run with their 16th hit. The Marlins take their second straight over the Cardinals, winning at 11-4. Drew Ruchinski, his first career win. And on a sad note, the Cardinals announced that Hall of Famer Red Shane Deans has passed away at the age of 95. Shane Deans played 19 seasons with the Cardinals, Giants, and Braves and managed nearly 2,000 games for the Cards over 14 seasons. He was a two-time World Series champion as a player and won as a manager with the 1967 Cardinals.